Helena Tinnert. Helena, her miss mission is to lead with compassion, do business consciously, and create a system that is regenerative and restorative by design. A system based on circularity and our global goals. She believes that business can and must build on doing well by doing good, changing the current status quo into a thriving world for both people, planet, and profit. And she also has a saying. I actually found this one, Helena. You have a lot of sayings, but this one I found uh, on your LinkedIn profile where you say that when people talk about traveling to the past, they worry about radically change the present by doing small changes in history. But few people believe they can make radically changes in the future by doing small changes today. I think that was really wonderful. So let's see if we have, um, Helena, are you here with us? I'm here with you. Hello everyone. <laughs> nice to see you. You too. A wonderful hat. Is that uh, from uh, Erland? Uh, it's my uh, engineering examiner. Uh, it's been on a lot of adventures. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Welcome, Helena. Please tell us a little bit about yourself. I would like to bring you back a few years, actually back to 2001 on 9-11. I would guess that most of you remember where you were and what you were doing that day. Um, me personally was home at Erland carrying my firstborn. Um, she was due one week later. I felt her kicking, watching the Twin Towers collapse over and over again on the TV. In the evening, my husband came home and he, um, he said the, the Twin Towers collapsed. And I said, have they collapsed? And I've been watching this over and over again, but I couldn't really take it in because we, we were supposed to have our first child in a week, which actually became three weeks later. Um, and I was wondering what world are we bringing her into? And I guess that was a big change for me um, in, in how I saw things and how I... Um, uh, prioritized what I would like to do in the world and uh, then it took a few years and later on we were living in China in 2005 and I really got the knowledge of what human rights or actually the absence of human rights um, can create in a country and uh, further on I got tough challenges with my body, um, which actually made me in 2013 spend somewhere between four and 24 hours per day in hospital. And at that time, I got the opportunity to watch Malala Yousafzai uh, receiving the announcement that she didn't get the Nobel Peace Prize. Instead, she got the question, uh, how do you feel? And she shared uh, something that, ha that actually changed my life. Because she said that I'm very honored, but my goal is not to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. My goal is to make sure that every boy and girl all over the world can go to school. And for me, that created my vision that my goal is not to, to get well, it's always to get better and practice human rights and live my dream of creating a better world. 
Wow. Thank you, Helena, for sharing that piece of story of yours. Uh, it really got to me. So thank you so much for sharing that. And um, Helena, I have to ask you, what are your dreams about the future? Well, uh, looking back on, on 2001 and 9-11, uh, my dream for the future is actually to to grow old, uh, become a blue zone of myself, and uh, watch my children, um, grandchildren, and hopefully great grandchildren, uh, children look them in the eyes and say, "I was part of the solution." That's my dream. Woohoo! That's great. <laughs> I will just celebrate you for that. Thank you very much, Elena. Thank you. I, I mean, we are all part of the solution. So you are great, Elena. Cheers. 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 <laughs> and congratulations. Skjol. Skjol.